No, I am not a financial advisor. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only. That's my disclaimer. Using the brokerage app Robinhood for stock investing. This is my review of my first three months of doing stock investing using the Robinhood app. I got to give you guys the background first before I get to what's really going on. But I will say this up front. I am $2.71 down. All right. So let me give you guys the, the story. So you guys know I'm losing $2.71 right now. But how did this all start, right? So this is uh, going to be hopefully helpful for a lot of people who are still trying to learn how to invest and for people who um, are beginners like me in investing. I have been trying to invest in stocks for a few years now, actually. And throughout that time, I had... Um, seen a few stocks, heard of a few stocks, looked up a few stocks, but never had the ability to actually um, put money into certain brokerage um, firms accounts. So when I say that, I'm talking about like E-Trade, Scott Trade, Merit Trade, all the different ones that you hear and see about. Um, you know, what happens is with those like big companies, they charge um, a fee for every time that you buy or sell a stock. You know what I mean? So, and that fee can range from anywhere between ten to twenty dollars every time you make a move. And so, you can lose money really fast just by not keeping track uh, of the expense or that fee of buying and selling, right? And so, that was real a, a real red flag in my eyes as far as trying to buy stock, especially when you don't have a large capital to start with. And even if you do have a large capital to start with, it's still kind of like scary because if you don't really understand what you're doing, then you can lose that large capital upfront money. So a lot of those companies, they want you to have at least um, $2,000 upfront to put into your account in order to be able to buy, sell stocks. I did have an account, I started one maybe about last year now, um, I want to say it was E-Trade, I believe it is. I don't even remember, to be honest. But I do have an account, and I have $50 in there. So, And they actually had sent me the check for the $50 back because I had been making no moves within the account. Because I can't make moves with the account because $50 is not enough money to make moves in the stock market on those big brokerage platforms. I'm over here spitting because I'm serious. I'm spitting like a preacher. All right, so... So now y'all got that little backstory. Now, fast forward to three months ago. I was chilling with my nephew in Sacramento. <clears throat> and those of you who know me, know my YouTube page. It's called No Limit Album Reviews because I'm a big No Limit fan. Masterpiece, C Murder, Silty Shaka, Romeo, salute. Anyway, until everybody knew that's on the team. Anyway, and so I followed Master P on Twitter, Instagram, and all that. So my phone buzzed. Beep. I check it. Master P sends out a tweet. And in that tweet, now, first of all, he rarely ever tweets. So I, I read the tweet. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, he, um, what you call it, added Vlad, Vlad TV, and said, I see the vision, stock investing, Robin Hood. And I was like, what is he talking about? Stock investing, Robin Hood. And so, those of you who don't know Vlad, Vlad is the guy on, you can go on YouTube, type in Vlad TV, or you can Google Vlad TV. Vlad does a lot of the interviews for a lot of celebrities um, in Hollywood, rappers, singers, actresses, people in real estate. He does a lot of those videos. So, I checked out that... Uh, Twitter and I noticed that about Masterpiece so then that prompted me to go look at um, what was Robin Hood so then I went on my phone and I went to the Play Store actually and I typed in Robin Hood and boom there was an app 